Hello neighbors, Christopher Henry coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes to see if anyone wants to get on here and check out some Pulsin and uh, some, a little bit of the Arkansas Traveler uh, with the shuffle accenting on the offbeats. Uh, so one and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and like that. And then I'm going to play, you know, just kind of like how I would normally play it. And I'm going to break it down and kind of explain it for folks who are new to pulsing. Okay? This is accenting the shuffle, which is the and. One and two and three and four and. So it's the off. Okay? So if you're thinking about these as 16th notes, as I do. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, That's what's going on. So I'm going to play it like I normally play it. Or whatever. And, uh, and then break it down into eighth notes so folks who are brand new to this idea can have a nice inroad to understanding what's going on. All right. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to break it down into eighth notes, all right? One, and two, and three. And this is like as simple as, as possible for practical purposes. Okay, so now you're going one, and two, and three. Uh, a lot of folks who are new to the mandolin or new to fiddle tunes, old time music, whatever, bluegrass, uh, have a tendency to accent the downbeats. Okay, so let's think about where this comes from. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee, and won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. I don't know the rest of the words, who cares? Okay, so that's the offbeat one, and two, and four, and four, and four, and four, and that's where you start one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and that's where they chop and that's where you play your strum on the rhythm guitar okay so it can be confusing because uh, there can be a natural uh, tendency to accent the downbeat okay so this would be like this I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee won't my mama be so proud of me okay the other way is bringing home a baby bumblebee and won't my mama be so proud of me okay it's the offbeat that's the shuffle that's where you know the back of the heel would click for the dance and all that kind of stuff, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna think about accenting the second eighth note, okay? So it'd be like, it'd be like weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, okay? That's the idea, all right? So if you're just doing eighth notes, one and two and three and four, some more 16th notes in there, but you can do with just 8th notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and 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 so that's as simple as possible, you know. Uh, so 
objectively. And then the second part, and that one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And two, and three, and four, and so you're getting the ands, all right? If you can count it, that's cool. One, and two, or just go, mm, deeter, daughter, deeter, daughter, whatever you can do to kind of hook in there, all right? So now let's talk about the shuffle leg. What is the shuffle leg? All right, it's down, down, up, all right? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. It's the primary building block for so much of, you know, this kind of music. It's where the shuffle goes. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and, and again, it's where the strums go, all right? So, you can practice playing this as a little scale. Down, down, up, down, down, we're in the key of D. Down, down, up, down. I'm accenting the offbeat. All right, so it's not going to be like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. That would be accenting the first eighth note. This is an eighth note and two sixteenths. That's one and a two and a three and a four and a. And so you're accenting the second downstroke. One and a two. So your your new notes are going to be soft notes. Soft, no, uh, no. weak, strong, weak, strong. Strong, okay. Hopefully you're picking up. Okay, so when you extrapolate that to the sixteenth notes, once you kind of get the hang of it, and remember, it's where your chop goes. One, two, three, three. So if you just kind of boil that down to one string, you know, a lot of times you might ha have a little click or something just to kind of keep yourself in time for your, uh, your your chop. If you boil that down to one string. Let's do it on one string. A lot of the more advanced pickers, you know, this would be something that you probably already spend a lot of time with. It's something that could take years to get, you know, uh, comfortable with. Uh, one of the best examples of this you can find is a lot in Sam Bush's playing. He really pushes this to the max. You know, you hear it in, in just about everybody's playing to, to a degree. Uh, but Sam Bush is a great uh, proponent of this particular technique. All right, so you think about threading your 16th notes in there. the whole rhythmic pulse of the, of the group. You know what I mean? When everybody's do jagga do jagga do jagga do jagga like that. Okay, another great tune for exploring this is Soldier's Joy. It's kind of got this backbeat pulse built into the melody almost. develop the ability to do this, you know, and you can do it on all kinds of stuff. You know, you can do it on breakdowns, you can do it on uh, singing songs, you can do it on like, old time tunes, and uh, is a really important foundational skill of getting the sound. The tricky part is that because a, a lot of folks are so used to accenting the downbeats, like you, you could accent the downbeats on Soldier's Joy.
kind of turns it into like a more of a march. And it's a shuffle, you know, so it's completely opposite. So it's counterintuitive to our sensibilities uh, a lot of times because instead of going and a one and two and three and four, you want to be going and a one and two and three and four and a one and two, but it's easy to get confused. Okay, so I uh, hope that uh, might help uh, a little bit for folks who are, are new to the idea of rhythmic pulsing in the shuffle. Uh, you know, you can, uh, you can, you know, just to take another super common jam session standard of the old Blue Ridge Cabin Home, let's see what it sounds like when we, when we put it in that, okay? So it's going to be like this. <laughs> shuffling along on the old offbeat love to help folks with this kind of stuff so if you want some more one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, help with that give me a holler I offer half off a, a first lesson if anyone takes a, um, an, an interest in having a zoom or a Skype lesson always happy to uh, to help people however I can and uh, yeah so I'm probably gonna sign off here unless there are in, any requests uh, and I'd be happy to to field any of that. Let's just see how this works in like a bluegrass breakdown or something like that, okay? You know. <laughs> exaggerating it a, a little bit, but right here it's built into it. Beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Later. <laughs>